Hi YouTube, welcome back to another GPU test video. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be testing this card right here. This is the brand new AMD 9070 XT. And this is the ASRock Tai Chi overclock model, as you can see. Uh, very heavy card, nice and thick, exactly three slots. And uh, just a really, really thick, sturdy cooler. So I'll hold it up here so you can see a little better. Definitely nice looking GPU. Also considerably large, which seems to be the theme. Any GPU you buy now is just gonna be massive. So in this video, we're gonna be testing blender rendering using uh, the four benchmark scenes that I always run just for render speed. And then we're gonna do a bit of a viewport benchmark, which I've been using to compare GPUs recently. If there's anything else you wanna see, let me know and I will work on getting that done. So a couple notes before we get started. For this to work as of today, you need to be running Blender 4.4 beta. In the release notes, I noticed that they added support for the brand new 9070 XT just for that version and newer. So you won't be able to run 4.3.2 or older on this GPU yet. And then make sure that your drivers match or are newer than the one that I will tell you later in the video so that uh, you can run this in Blender. I saw online that it's kind of hard to get it to work, but if you use the 4.4 beta, it should be just fine. So with that said, let's get into the testing. Over here on the remote desktop, uh, I just wanted to show you the driver version. I installed this today. This is 24.30.31.02 released on 212 of 25. So let's minimize that and we'll pull up Blender. So here is the classroom scene. Uh, one thing to note is the only Blender version I could get to work with this new GPU was Blender 4.4 beta. So if you wanna try this right now, you might have to get the 4.4 beta version. Uh, it would not run on 4.3.2, which is what I would normally use. This is the 5950X. 16 cores, this is what I normally benchmark GPUs on. We have 64 gigabytes of RAM, and you can see our GPU here on Task Manager, so I'll leave that open uh, while we run these tests. So last thing, I'll show you the preferences here. I am going to run um, HIP with RT turned on. I tested these before I started filming this, and um, there was no competition at all, at least at this point, the RT uh, checkbox definitely made a big difference. So I would say, unlike in the past, you definitely want to check that on. So I'll go ahead and save those preferences and we won't have to pull this up on every frame. And now all I have to do is render the image. And like always, Classroom is the fastest one of all four. So this will not take very long, 19.4 seconds. So I'm gonna throw that in the spreadsheet and I'll come sort these at the end. So the next scene is barbershop. So running frame 100, like always, HIPRT checked on, render image. Okay, so as this one's finishing up, uh, it looks like our temperature is around 50 to 51 Celsius, so that's pretty good. And the barbershop scene here got done in 1 minute and 35 seconds. So let's go throw that in the table. And again, we'll sort those later. The next scene is the Lone Monk scene, which is the heavy one. HIPRT with the 9070 XT turned on. And render image. Okay, the Lone Monk is almost done. It looks like uh, we're at about 54 C for temperature, so that's not too bad. And we just got it done in two minutes and 22 seconds. And for the last scene, we'll test the scan land scene. Make sure our preferences are correct, and they are. And then we'll render the frame. So once this one's done, we'll add it to the table. And then I'll go back and briefly uh, compare the results for this GPU to the other results that I have. And keep in mind, I like to post these uh, data tables in my community page. 
on YouTube here. So you can go back and see the data whenever you want to. So again, we're at about 51 Celsius. So not too bad. The compute graph is showing 98%. So that looks good. And I think we're done here. So scan land scene took one minute and 25 seconds. Okay, now I've got my camera out of the way so you can see the data. I've highlighted the new 9070 XT results in a nice AMD red. And we'll go through these four scenes real quick and compare the data. So for this classroom scene, the 9070 XT fell right between the RTX 4060 and the RTX 3080. Um, it lost by a couple seconds to the 4060 Ti and by about three seconds to the 7900 XTX, also from AMD. Again, these are available on community posts once these videos go live. So check there for um, more information and to reference these if you want to later. So the next one is the barbershop scene. Here, the 9070 XT was just behind the 4060 Ti and about 25 seconds slower than the 7900 XTX. For the Lone Monk scene, AMD GPUs always seem to outperform relative to the other scenes. So in this one, uh, the 9070 XT was just behind the 5070 and it was kind of in the mix with the 40 series GPUs from NVIDIA. So uh, it made a better showing in this heavier scene which is a good sign for it in uses with actual animation scenes where they may be a little bit heavier. And finally, the scan land scene, kind of like the other light scenes, uh, the 9070 XT falls a little bit behind the smaller NVIDIA GPUs. Um, most notably, I would say here, it loses to the 4060 Ti by about 27 seconds in this test. Uh, so for some reason, in the lighter scenes, the AMD GPUs fall behind just a little bit. Obviously, for me, Blender 4.4 Beta was stable with this GPU as of today, so uh, it's definitely fully supported in the future. I don't think there will be any problems with it as far as compatibility. Um, so for the next part of this, I am going to switch back over to a viewport rendering test. I'm going to open my animation scene. I've been using this for the last few videos to do a viewport kind of a feeling test. So the first thing I can do here is just start moving the scene around a little bit. So there's just a little bit of delay moving this in the viewport, but it's not necessarily terribly distracting. It's somewhat smooth. So then uh, the next thing I'll do here, which we can actually collect some sort of numbers on, I'll start to play this animation and then we'll just kind of watch this uh, FPS up here at the top left. So it looks like just playing this animation, kind of moving around while it's doing it. Uh, we're getting about 12 to 14 frames per second while playing this animation back. And this is with frame dropping turned on. The other GPUs I have uh, tested this with, we have the Intel Arc B580 at about four frames per second. I had the RTX 5070 running at about 11. So in this viewport test, it looks like the 9070 XT beats the 5070 by a couple of frames per second at least. And then at the top end of the chart, I had about uh, 20 to 24 frames per second on the RTX 4090. So that just gives you a little bit of scale and I'll, I'll come up with a more formal way to record these in the future, but for now, this is as good as I know how to do with viewport performance. And then lastly here, I'll just turn on shade preview. And we can look at the scene with materials turned on and lights turned on. And I can kind of play this back and uh, our FPS won't mean as much here because it's going to drop most of the frames. But you can see that when I pause this, if you wanted to get a good look at the scene and kind of check on lighting and check on materials, it runs pretty quick. You can get a, a decent picture of what you're looking at uh, without waiting very long. Like a lot of the 
detail on the trees and stuff pops in right away. So as far as I'm concerned, this GPU is, is really pretty good in the viewport for its price. Um, and it's even beating the 5070. This is a good sign for this GPU so far. Uh, but for now, that's all I can do for benchmarks. I would normally try to run Cinebench, but I was not able to get Cinebench to see the 9070 XT for some reason either. So there must just not be support for this one um, in the same way that I could not run the 5070 the other day either. I think that's it for the testing in this video. I'll come back and update this if uh, Blender or the drivers get a major update that might let this card run a little faster. Um, but other than that, that is it for our results. Let me know if there's something else you want to see with this GPU and I will put it to work. Thank you for watching and I'm glad you're here.